<laughs> say, say it ain't so. Baluba <laughs> is, is finally going to make Park and Stage on Hall of Fame. We might be getting a, 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 a My Player demo. I don't think so, but <laughs> it's possible, bro. Because one of the next makers replied to Ronnie's tweet, man. I don't know why he would do that unless, you know, I, I don't know. But anywho, Michelle Wayne has dropped so many tweets about NBA 2K23 gameplay. I'm going to break it down for you, let you know what to expect. Make sure you watch the full video. It's insane what this is saying. This is lying on the timeline, bro. So Mike Wayne tweeted out, a lot of people ask what three point is needed to be consistent in 2K23. If you plan to shoot a lot of threes, I would personally go mid 80s. And then he said some of the sweats are gonna be able to have high 70s. Just like I've been telling y'all in my videos, it's why, hey man, you don't wanna waste your money. You wanna be good at 2K. This is the channel for you, man. Make sure you subscribe, like the video. It's free. And turn on them post notices, my boy. So Badge, Badge replies in a very nice way because, you know, my boy wants his logo. He said, even fully maxed, field goal percent should be significantly lower than what you saw in 22. Based off what Mike Wang is saying, this sounds like it could be the greatest 2K ever. But I don't believe this now. Make sure y'all screenshot these tweets, bro. Because I don't think he's ever came out and just like said it like this on a timeline, bro. Because he always be deleting them tweets when like the game gets going. Wait till the other stuff this gonna say. Look, you know, Michelle Wang saying the current gen builder is like the next gen builder that current gen was built off next gen builder. I don't know why he responds to these dumbass questions. He sees all my tweets. I'm lighting them up. He not answering them for a reason, my nigga. Pay attention. Favorite layup package. Another worthless response, man. These could be OP and uh, 2K23. MJ, Book, Levine, Magic. You know, we gonna see. So this nigga's basically asking if we can have realistic builds or straight role player builds in 2K23. He says he could see it going both. And th this is just a publicity tweet don't read too much into this man but he's saying if you got a team full of role players you'll be more successful than do it alls which is never the case but um you know don't don't read too much into that now this nigga says this is why i think you know i'm getting like 17 esque 18 esque vibes but the thing is none of that cheese that y'all loved is, is gonna be here bro that deck scene the snatchbacks, the wiggle, and just shooting no, note, it's not gonna be there. So would do you really like 18 if it was in today's era? Or 17, like, you're not gonna be able to do that shit based off what this nigga's saying, you know? But he's saying, sharps are going to make a return. If y'all didn't know, um, the speed boost and sharps kind of mess it up. But there was a sharp, you know, there's like a speed glitch way you could do some, uh, like a burst. And they were they were nice builds, man. In 17, I used to run around with a sharp, not the speed boost and glitched one, the little midget. But I used to have a big sharp. And on Pro-Am teams, you used to actually have to have a, a sharp on your team because he could shoot way better than everyone else. But now they kind of eliminated that. But now they're saying they're going to be a very important just like the previous 2Ks, like 17, man. I, I thought that was a real nice feature house, like Sharps were. Um, you know, it, it made more build diversity. But now shootings became so much easier after 17 that there was no need for Sharps, <laughs> you know? But hey, he's saying people gonna struggle to shoot and now they bringing it back. Nigga, they tapping into that old shit. Y'all let me know if y'all excited about that. This guy right here is asking if a 75 three ball can be effective on a center. Or is he saying we're making play shots or paint beasts all over again? Y'all know that's always going to be the meta. He says stretch bigs can be very effective. 75 three point might be a little low. Pay attention when you make your stretches. But if you're really good with this shot timing and wide open J's, you could be a threat. Okay, look, pay attention, nigga. If you're not good. Stop making builds with low threes. Stop listening to these niggas, bro. Like, the only way you can have a build with no three 
is if you're very talented, like, you know, and you can like, you, you have to be talented. If you know you're not that talented, chill, bro. But you got to have a higher three, bro. I know it's not your play style, but yeah. So they saying with the stretch, you're going to have to be in that 80 shit. But then at the same time, they saying you got to have bigger centers. In 23, they always say that every year. I doubt it's going to happen, but that's what they're saying, bro. So if the builder is nerfed like they're saying, you might have to little have a, a small stretch out there, but he ain't going to be able to get no stops. I don't know. We're going to see, bro. But this is good info. Listen to what this nigga Michelle Wang says. Congo says, will interior defense be buffed this year? Paint mashing overruled interior defense rating last year. Ever since 18, interior defense has been terrible. He implemented something that completely ruined the game forever. And every year it's been awful. This nigga saying, this is why I think this nigga lying. But if he not lying, this is going to be the greatest 2K ever, nigga. But I'm convinced he's lying. Y'all let me know if y'all think this nigga lying or not. He says, from all our internal and external place taste, play testing sessions, I'm pretty confident that mashing is dead. He's never said nothing like this before. There's no way. If there's still an exploit, we'll patch it. What? Usually how, why they can't patch the paint defense because they just can't or it'll just fuck up everything else and you know, but they're saying like, you know, they really going to take <laughs> extreme measures. I don't know. That sounds crazy. Oh, he's saying for post fades with the low block that will be attached to your close shot and for the deep fades, the mid range to three point. Hmm. That's weird. Mid range and three point. Why would the mid and three be combined? Hey, man, new info, man. Michelle Wang says try both uh, layup timing on and off. See what's better. And um, if you're basically making a slasher, try to practice them skill dunks, man. He's saying them hoes is going to be OP. I don't understand how paint's going to be overpowered and dunking's going to be so overpowered. I don't I don't get it. Favorite improvement from 22 to 2K23. My favorite thing is probably the shooting skill gap. Second might be the controllable rim hang. So he's confirming that we can get off the rim when we want. Uh, that's that's dope. Layup timing is, is still optional, but he highly recommends enabling it if you're calm. Okay, look, look, pay attention for you little layupers out there. He says, if you got your timing on, if you time it bad, you will miss more often than if you had your timing off. But you won't blow wide open anymore, even with bad timing. And with timing on, you'll be able to make uh, <laughs> way more tough layups that you would normally miss with real player percent layups. Okay, so look at this. Badge plug. Um, it seemed like uh, Michelle Wang fucking with you, my nigga. So you need to ask... If park and stage even have different sliders. Thank you, thank you. So he says, what do you think the park and stage sliders difficulty will be close to on release? It has its own set sliders, but it's closest to Hall of Fame, okay? I think this shit is fucking cap. I think if he's saying this, that it, it, it's two or three levels below Hall of Fame, bro. I've personally played Hall of Fame my whole life on Sim. Hall of Fame Sim. There's no way in hell this nigga, and I'ma read to you, he's saying all these shits are on Hall of Fame now, basically. There's no way 90% of the community will even be able to fuck with Hall of Fame. Even you old heads that claim like you want such a realistic comp simulation game. It's too hard for niggas. It's to where if you're way better than someone, like like if I was to play one of y'all listening to me right now, I could beat you like 200 to like fucking five, nigga. You know, that's how the sliders are. It's like a big skill gap because like none of that bullshit is going in. So I'm thinking like by him saying closest to Hall of Fame, he's just saying out of all the modes, it's on the highest difficulty, right? 
but we going to get more into that, bro. You going to see, like, nigga, this nigga is capping on this bit. So to get guard animations, you got to be 6'4 or below. They're basically confirming that all that fading, pull-up jumper, step-back shit is um still in the game. I don't know why he says it's realistic, just because people do it in real life at the rate people were hitting them hoes it's extremely unrealistic and and broken but um he says they still very effective especially in the uh mid-range midi magician and space credit are gonna be the badges that you're looking for man before y'all crazy niggas say something bro look up the stats for real life please bro y'all y'all think that fading is just it's a eight out of ten always make bro let me read some stats for you bro on wide open threes 38 percent do you know that percent this is the average okay on contested threes 30 percent okay stop watching highlights stop claiming just because you play basketball nigga basketball is a brick fest my whole thing was saying they need to nerf shit and make it realistic and stuff is it goes in too much, especially in the right hands, bro. That's all I be saying. Y'all be thinking that I'm trying to like, I don't know what's wrong with y'all, bro. Uh, I'm a comp head, bro. And then for open middies, bro, it's 43 through 45%. Do you not understand that? That means... On average, you miss over half of your shots, bro. Wide open. And then on contested, it's 35 to 37%. Okay? So I don't give a fuck if it's fucking Kobe, if it's MJ, if it's fucking Curry, fading. That shit not always cash, nigga. That's what I'm saying. With these 99 ratings, it's not always cash. Especially if you're not on your shit, bro. I'm saying make it more comp, make niggas have to have more skill to get actually open and stop hitting this contested shit. Understand y'all are on the casual side, accept it. Stop acting like y'all are like, you, you want something that's actually harder. Say I'm not very good at the game, admit it, bro, admit it. And you want this stuff to fall more instead of trying to act like you're good when you have a negative win percent but i fuck with you it don't matter <laughs> i'm just saying bro like y'all be coming at me like i'm some ass nigga nigga i have a 95 win percent plus every year barely trying come on man what be wrong with niggas so this nigga bring up the wreck difficulty walk on on wreck is closest to superstar ain't it superstar in hall of fame what there's no way I think that they completely revamped the difficulty system and made it way easier than past 2Ks if this shit is true. Because there's no way they would implement these sliders to online, bro. There's there's too many casuals. I would love it. I pray, nigga, I would cry. <laughs> nigga, I would cry, nigga. Like, if, if the difficulty was high, bro, I would cry. I'd be so happy. I love 2K. But um, since he said walk on rec, this guy said like 2K15's rec center, are you guys separating, blah, blah, blah. He said don't read too much into it, so kind of confirming we ain't got that uh, walk into the rec type shit, you know. Takeover still works the same. I don't know why this nigga, well, maybe. Yeah, it still works the same, basically. Y'all know how takeover work by now, right? Okay, so Baluba is finally answering this question right here about the plus fours. And the plus one shit that's like extremely important when you make your builds. He says, if you get gym right, you get plus four physicals and the accessory boost return just like 2K22. I don't really know what that means. But other than that, the caps you set in the builder are what determine your animation and unlocks and badges. So it's not going to be like current gen to where you hit 95, then... 96 97 and then you you base every build you make you plus four all the attributes and you try to hit certain caps it's going to be more like next gen for y'all that don't know you can max your build out all the way to 99 when you make it like and you'll see its abilities but then you upgrade it and you don't have that stuff um 
if that doesn't make sense to you maybe comment down below and someone can help you or maybe me nigga because i read all my comments y'all be sure to like the video bro it's free show love look at what this nigga says what about 5v5 pro -Am? also hall of fame so he's saying i don't know if he's saying because this is attached to this tweet i don't know if this nigga is saying it's closest to hall of fame or it's hall of fame right there's no way there's no way oh god there's no way and look at this stupid bitch saying i'm always negative nigga how am i negative i done praised all the j cole shit nigga i praise i pray shit and i fucking roast shit nigga i'm just a real person ain't nobody negative goofy i'm trying to get clarification for the community to help you niggas out y'all be getting real unfiltered people with confused with negativity bro like dead ass tighten up man but hey man also this gv nigga he a next maker nigga he close to 2k now man he used to roast the hell out of 2k uh you know fighting the good fight but now he is a part of the 2k you know um whatever the fuck you want to call it this nigga ronnie it's not the neighborhood, but you could think whatever you want, looking as. Says, news on the builder will come in a loud way. Don't worry your cute little face is off. Then this nigga says, surprise demo. So he in the next, I think he's in the next maker shit. I don't know. So it's like, why would he say this? It could be a troll. Or we could be getting a my player demo before it come out. I, I doubt it. But, hey, nigga, it, it's something to, you know tell you niggas about <laughs> i doubt it nigga because like i tweeted this on the 30th bro i said 2k don't do demos no more because you'll figure out the builder somewhat no demos mean you have a higher chance to mess up your first builds which mean more money for nba 2k and a lot of people agreed with it really no negative uh messages on this shit right and um i think they're gonna stick with that but anywho man y'all let me know how y'all feel about all of this Turn on them post notice. Subscribe. Make sure y'all follow me on Twitch, man. I'll be streaming all 2K23, multiverse, all different types of shit. Go show the support. You know, subscribe. And like the video. It's free. It's free to show a nigga love. It don't require you niggas nothing, bruh. But yeah, if y'all made it this far, comment down below. I. And um, yeah. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again People talking this for when this hit the fan Everything I'm that made me Now break it down Yo Off the top of the dome, dome.